All right. I finally got inspired this morning. While laying in bed, I had the idea of what I'm going to do. And even the title. Now, whether I actually follow through with this, I still don't know, but I'm going to try. Time to play with some clay. Whoops, the wrong direction. Sorry it took so long to figure out what I was going to do, but huh. can't get that to work here. I uh, guess it'll have to remain that way. Anyway, I'm just uh, getting this ready to go. What I'm doing is I'm using a piece of wood to mount my armature in and uh, there we go oh man What I'm thinking of doing is a young pioneer girl who's uh, standing out on the prairie and a pleasant breeze is blowing and she's facing into it and uh, it's a spring breeze. It's after a long winter on the prairie. A spring day is a blessing, especially when it's a perfect temperature. Okay. Now I'm offsetting this, uh, sculpture a little bit on my board. I've got her further to the front than to the back. It's not centered on the board. And the reason for that is because I'm going to have her dress kind of blowing or billowing out in behind her. And uh, at least that's the idea I have right now. I may change it, but uh, that's the idea right now. Because I'm doing a female, her shoulders won't be as wide as a male. So I've got to close it. Well, it doesn't want to work at that width. There we go. There we go. The uh, female's shoulder is one and a half heads wide. Whereas a male shoulders are two heads wide. Now, that's not necessarily the case all the time. There are women who have shoulders that are head two heads wide. I just don't want to do mine two heads wide. So I'm going one and a half. And that's it right there. Now, I'm going to mark on my board here with a magic marker, the head size. 
so that whenever I want to check uh, my measurements, I can. All right, this is uh, the measurement here. It is from there to there where my fi other finger is. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the full half size of the figure. What I'm thinking of doing is having her hands together holding a uh, straw hat and I'm not sure if I'll what position exactly I'm going to have her hands quite honestly yet but that's the initial thought right now. All right I'm going to get started. I'm going to put a little clay on here just to solidify, solidify <laughs> the upper part of his, her body and uh Go ahead and get that started. I just had to uh, make her just a little more solid in the uh, board on the board, and uh, didn't take much to do that. I think I'll make this girl a uh, maybe 17, 18, and uh, it's that time of their life when they they're in a kind of a dream world anyway, dreaming of their prince coming to take her away. The arms will be the last thing I do. So I'll just keep them away from her body while I'm working on forming the body of the girl. The clay's still cold because I didn't have my light on to soften it until just about a half hour ago. I made a little measuring wire. That's the head length it should be, and it's perfect. I tilted her head just a little, because she's uh, enjoying this moment. I'll have her facing into the wind or the breeze, whatever it is. All right, I brought out my uh, maquettes of the female that I got from uh, uh, anatomytools.com. Well, worth having. This one in particular shows the half of her skeletal structure, which is helpful when you're doing her hips. And uh, the other one shows the muscles and then shows the skin. So you could get the full, full view there, but this one shows you the muscles and then also has the ability to take the uh, arm off and it's got a magnet that holds it in place. The same here. Now, she's not going to be naked. But I have to have her body under the clothing. And it's got to reflect the female figure. Well, looking at the clock, I'm running out of time here. I got late, started late today. And uh, I'll uh, see you guys uh, Monday. And we'll see how far I can get on this thing. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. And have a safe weekend. See you next week. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.